Today, we will quickly see the difference between nested if-else and else if ladder. First, we will start with simple if-else statement. This is the flowchart of if-else statement where we can see that in case of simple if-else, there will be one and only one test condition. If the result of that test is true, then a particular statement or a particular block of statements is processed. If the result is false, then another statement or another block of statements is processed. And whether the result of that test condition is true or false, there may be a lines of quotes or a block of statements which will be processed irrespective of the result of that test condition. And that we can see in the flowchart as statement X. And also we have next statement here. This is a sample piece of program where we can see that we have one if and corresponding to that if we have one else. And in that if we have one condition that we are checking. Here it is whether balance is greater than 5000 or not. And if it is true, then the program flow, a control of the program will go here and this statement will be processed. And if the result is false, then this statement will be skipped and the control will come in the else part and this statement will be processed. Whether the condition is true or false, always this line will be executed in that program. Now we will see the nested if-else. In case of nested if-else, we will have a condition under another condition or we will have one if under another if. And that concept is called nesting of if-else and theoretically we may have n number of test conditions in that particular program or we can have nth layer of nesting. So here what we can see that the, when the program flow comes here, here the first condition is getting checked here and if the result of that condition is true, then we are checking the second condition, test condition 2. So this test condition 2 or second condition is being checked under test condition 1. And when that condition is met or that criteria is fulfilled or met or when the test condition 1 is true. And now when the result of second test condition is true, we may have another test condition. And when the result of third test condition is true, we may have another test condition. And theoretically, we may have this way n number of test conditions. But as the layer of this nesting increases, the complexity of the program increases. So generally in practice, we don't use more than three or four nested if. And if it is more than that, then in C program, we have the concept of switch case that generally we use. Now we'll come back to this flowchart. Now here, if the test condition two is false, then we process statement two. So second test condition will be checked when, when the first test condition is true. But if that test condition is false, then what will happen? Then the program flow will not come this side, rather it will process statement three. So at a time, either statement one or statement two or statement three will be executed. But whatever is the result of that test condition one and test condition two, statement X will be always executed. So that is the concept of nested if else. And this is the piece of program. This is the syntax how we use nested if else in C program. So here we have one if we are checking first test condition. If that test condition is true, then within that if we have another if means within that test condition, we are checking another test condition. But mind it here, if the test condition one is true, then we are checking the test condition two. And when that test condition is true, then we are processing statement one. If the result of second test condition is false, then the program flow will come to that else part and then statement two will be executed. But if the result of first test condition is false, then the program flow directly will come to its corresponding else part means here and then statement three will be executed. So this is the syntax and this is again a sample piece of program where we have used nested if else. So in the first if this we are checking the first test condition, if that is true, then if A is greater than B, then we are checking whether A is greater than C also or not. 
and then based on that we are taking some decision accordingly we are processing some statement but if the result of second test condition is false then the program flow will come to the else part and whatever statement we have here that will be executed and if the result of first test condition that itself false then the program flow directly will come to this else part by skipping all these things and then within that it's else part whatever statement we will have that will be executed but here one thing what we can notice here that in the else part also in the first else of the first test condition there also we may have nested if else so within that else then again we have another pair of if else so here again we are checking another condition within that if part if that is true accordingly the that statement what is written within that if that will be executed and if that is false then corresponding to that we will have an, another else part and under that we will have another statement or block of statements and that will be executed and here within the first if within the first test condition when we are nesting the second if then within that if also if that test condition is true we may have another layer of nested if means we have may have another if and if that test condition is true then we may have another if and this way we may continue theoretically and similarly in the else part also here we are checking another test condition by the help of this if and if that is true again we may have another pair of if else and if that can test condition within that if is true then we may have another nested if so this is how it works the nested if else in c program and this is the flowchart of else if ladder so what we can see here is the program flow when it is coming here and it is checking the first test condition then when the test condition is false then we are checking for the second test condition when it was nested if when the first test condition was true then we were checking the second test condition but in case of lc for lc ladder when the first test condition is false then we are checking for second test condition and if the second test condition is false that result is false then we are going for checking the third test condition and that way theoretically we may check or we may have n number of conditions and then final for the final test condition if that will be false then there will be some default statement which will be executed so in this whole flowchart other than statement x only one of these statements will be processed or executed at a time and then when all of this is over all the condition checkings and execution of the statement particular statement is processed then the program flow will come here statement x and that statement x will be always executed irrespective of the result of any test condition and then followed by we may have some other statements also some other lines of programs that will be also processed so this logic of lc ladder we will see in this piece of program where as per this range of marks we will be providing the grade so when the marks is greater than 79 because in the first range we have between 80 to 100 so when it is 70 greater than 79 means it starts from 80 and then it goes till 100 so in that case we will be providing the grade as honors else else means what else means from 79 till 0 means 0 to 79 all the range the whole range comes under else part but within that range only from 60 to 79 if that that is the range of marks then we will be providing the grade as first division so from that range the whole range from 70 to 79 we will be filtering out only this range 60 to 79 and for that we have we have put this condition whether the marks is greater than 59 or not so greater than 59 means it starts from 60 and this time it will go till 79 only because from 80 to 100 that we have already checked under this condition and then the logic has come in the else part so under this test condition it will be from 60 to 79 and accordingly we will be providing the grade as false division then this else is what this else is for this if so when under this if we have checked the marks as greater than 59 then then when the control will come to this corresponding else part since in this if we have checked the marks whether it is greater than 59 or not so when that doesn't fulfill then the control comes in the else part right 
so in the else part it will be from 0 to 59 that is the whole range but here out of that 0 to 59 from that range we will be only when the range of marks is 45 to 59 then we will be providing that grade as second division so that's why accordingly we have put condition as if the marks is greater than 44 so greater than 44 means it starts from 45 and till which marks it will go because in the else part the maximum limit was 59 so it will start from 45 and then it will go to till it will go till 59 so the accordingly the grade will be second division and that's what it has been written in the program and then if that if fails that if fails then the control will come in the else part so that if fails means here the condition was greater than 44 so 45 onwards so in the else part what will the range it will be 0 to 44 and from 0 to 44 if the range is only 30 to 44 then the grade is third division so again we have put here another condition we have checked another condition and what is that if the marks is greater than 29 so greater than 29 means the marks will start from 30 32 it will be till 44 so within that if again according to this uh, condition if that condition is true then we will be providing the grade as third division and if that fails if that fails means it will come here the control and what will the range of marks it will be from 0 to 29 and since 0 to 29 as per the problem statement that is the last range and uh, if that is the range of marks then the grade that we will be providing is fail so here we are not checking any other condition because that is the default condition and accordingly there will be the default statement and that is if all other conditions fail then the control will come in the last else part so here last in the last else part what is the range of marks it will be from 0 to 29 only and then we will be providing the grade as a fail and that's why we don't need to check here another condition because that is the last range of marks and that is the default now we will see the difference that we have in the program between nested if else and else if ladder and for that we have taken the same problem here the first set of program is for nested if else and second set of this second piece of program is for else if ladder this piece of program we have already seen just now now as i said the main difference is in case of else if ladder the second condition is checked when the first condition is false and accordingly the default statement is processed in the last else part in case of nested if else the second condition is checked when the result of first condition is true and accordingly third condition is checked when the result of second condition is true and so on and the default statement is executed in the last if part so the default statement is what the last range of marks where the grade that we are providing as fail so that has to be the default statement grade will be equal to fail and with what is that range of marks between 0 to 29 so when marks is less than 30 then we are providing that grade as fail because here that has to be this statement has to come under if so when marks is if the marks is less than 30 and that is less than 30 means 0 to 29 that range is covered so that then the grade is fail and this condition if this condition fails then it control will come to the else part so if the marks is not less than 30 so it will that signifies that marks is greater than 30 and here we are providing the grade as third division but when the marks is greater than or more than 30 then always the grade is not third division for third division the range of marks is for from 30 to 44 but here how we have provided this grade as third division when this condition fails because before this if fails we have another if fails here and this is the nested if fails within this if or within this if condition where we have already checked whether the marks is less than 45 or not so when the marks was less than 45 means when it was from 44 till 0 or we can say from 0 to 44 then the condition or the control came here so that means under this if the the range of marks is from 0 to 44 and that's why if this if fails then the else part will be from 30 to 44 so if this if fails if this condition fails then the control will come in the else part 
and apparently it looks the marks will be from 45 to 100 and then we will be providing the grade as second division but say for second division the marks is for 45 to 59 but uh, how it is working it will be working because this if else this if else is actually under this if where we have already checked whether the marks is less than 60 or not so when we are coming to this else part the marks will be basically from 45 to 59 because when this if, if is true when this condition is true then we are coming to this block of code so within this else part the range of marks will be for from 45 to 59 and then when this if fails so this if fails means corresponding to that if we have this else so if marks is less than 60 if that fails that means marks is from 60 to 100 apparently that looks like that so in the else part will be from 60 to 100 but it is not because again this if else is under this if where we have checked whether marks is less than 80 or not so when that is true that is true means the marks will be for from 0 to 79 so for that else part it will be from 60 to 79 right and now if we come to this if when that is true means marks is less than 80 then all other uh, the nested if we are checking accordingly we are processing the particular statement but if the first if fails then what happens then the program flow will come to that corresponding else part where what is the range of marks that will come under that else from 80 to 100 and accordingly the grade will be honors as per the given problem statement so this is the difference between nested if else and else if ladder and this is how we implement that logic in c programs i hope this concept is clear to you see you in the next class thank you